It's a rolling Christmas party in Beaverdale Saturday night. A party only pausing outside of a certain house on Ashby Avenue. <laughs> where Julie Marks and her friends are joyfully waiting. You guys want a candy cane? With treats in hands and smiling faces, the group shares their Christmas spirit with every car, bicycle or dog that comes by. And what's returned their way are smiles, along with donations so of money or food. Because the holiday spirit at the Marx's well-decorated home is all about giving, specifically to the Food Bank of Iowa. I believe in loving on people and, um, you know, I've, I've been without. This is the Marks family's second year doing this, raising more than $7,500. Thank you very much. And collecting 1,500 pounds of food in 2020. We're excited to see what this year brings. But this year already looks a little sure. different than last, especially for Dale Marks, Julie's husband, who isn't standing by his wife's side doing what he loves due to his health. For 28 days, laying in the hospital, and I knew that if I got out, that I had to figure out a way to do it. Dale battled from COVID this year, leading to two strokes and a heart attack. Despite that, Dale says he's blessed. Volunteers put up every candy cane, sparkling light, and decorations standing tall across his yard. I'm so thrilled that this tradition got to go on. It's just important if you have a little bit extra or even if it's just a can, it's super important to be able to give that to somebody else. And that's the holiday spirit Dale and Julie Marks hope to convey and instill in others. If you have one last breath, you can do something for someone. And the Marks will be taking in donations several days throughout the month. You can catch Julie and their friends out on Ashby Avenue from 6 to 9 in the evening on the 11th, 15th, 18th, and on their last night on Christmas Eve. Laura.